So here's a question for you. Where were you in 1987? 1987, 19, 1987, I was just breaking into Oklahoma City Radio. Mm -hmm. what, were you, what were you doing? I was still in college. <laughs> oh, whatever. I was a junior, I was almost done. Yeah, yeah, huh? Well, here's something. Uh -huh. Some people on our staff weren't even uh, <clears throat> born yet. <laughs> yeah, they're not looking, they're not looking. But for WBOC News anchor Steve Hammond, 1987 was the beginning of an exciting career here at WBOC. And we are honored to have Steve join us <laughs> on Delmarva Life. Good to see y'all. Good, Good to see you. Thanks for you. having me. So it was, was it March, it was March 22nd, yep, 1987. 1987, and you guys now, uh, people that have been to WBOC, there's the main hallway, and right. then it's just a maze of different areas. But mm -hmm. you are now in what was the original newsroom. Right, right. And I remember that first day. And I remember you know, I had been in there for the interview, but, you know, metal desks and typewriters. Yeah. Kids, ask your parents what a typewriter is. But, <laughs> but you know, back in the day, that's how we got it done. Right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was a long time ago. Do you remember how you, how did you wind up here? Well, I had graduated from the University of Delaware. I had worked for WHYY, who had a half-hour newscast up in Wilmington. I did that for two years. And then a bureau chief job opened up at WBOC. And uh, I came down and interviewed and got the job. And, and so that's how it all started. I started in Dover. Okay. And, mm -hmm. uh, and so. So did you at the time think, oh, I'm just going to work here and then move on? Or did oh, you? Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's the way the business is, was. Um, I figured I'd be here for a couple of years. and, and you know, hone my skills and become a better reporter um, and and move on. And then as time marched on, I came to realize that, that and I think you guys would agree, mm -hmm. this is a great place to work. It's a great place to live. Delmarva is a great place to live and to raise a family. Right. And and I wasn't really interested in, in our business. You have to hopscotch all over the country. You'll spend two years here, two years in Richmond, you know, blah, 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 you know, with the ultimate goal of getting to New York City. And I thought about it after a while. I said, you know, I don't really think I, I want to live my life like that. I'd rather really put down roots. That, and so here we are. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm surprised I'm still doing this <laughs> 35 years later, but it's, uh, it's been a great run. You have seen and taught and mentored a whole lot of reporters that have gone mm. on and done that very thing. Right. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, congrats to them. I have no regrets, and I'm not a guy that looks backwards right um, uh, you, you know it is what it is and the Lord has put me in this place and uh, and and I'm thankful for for all the blessings that have been bestowed, bestowed upon me um, you know career wise family wise and you know and I'm, I'm I'm thrilled but but I don't really have I didn't have this aspiration I got to be at the network by the time I'm right, 30 right. you know even with that said, you have done some pretty amazing things here at WBOC, network quality assignments. Well, well, Does anyone you. stand out? Um, uh, uh, network quality, I don't know. You know, um, <laughs> uh, I always tell people, my favorite, I get asked this question a lot, what's your favorite? My favorite story of all time is when I got to fly with the Blue Angels in the Chesapeake Bay, a 45-minute yeah. flight. I mean, it was it, that is the most memorable thing I've ever done, you know. But, but you know, the, the, the trip to Somalia was certainly uh, memorable. Uh, about six months before Black Hawk Down, and that was um, scary at times. I had a big uh, technical machine gun pointed right at me from these, you know, these technicals. Um, long story. I'm not going to get into it, but but uh, that was certainly a memorable trip. Um, but you know, all the stuff locally. You know, all the storms that we've covered, the marathon coverage of hurricanes, and and um, you know, and certainly there's the long list of of really bad actors from John Thanos to Brian Cherix, you know, mm -hmm. and the executions and, and, you know, Earl Bradley and, you know, so uh, there's a great line from a Jimmy Buffett song, you know, that I've, I've used often that's, you know, some of it's magic and some of it's tragic. You know, oh. and, you know that. Uh, you got the truth. And, and I've always sort of equated that with this business. You know, I've seen some incredible things, gotten to do some incredible things, but also seen, you know, sort of the worst of people also. Yeah. And it comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. So 35 years, you, you, here in-house, you have seen a lot of things change. Is it, has it been difficult to adapt? Uh, I, I, um, I don't know. Um, we all adapt to the technology, and I think the technology makes our lives easier. Yeah. Um, and, but the way information flies around the world at lightning speed, um, and sometimes uh, shortcuts get taken in journalism right. because of that. And so I, you know, I worry sometimes about that, you know, you still have to confirm information, 
Mm -hmm. You're still yeah. holding the tiller true. We're going to sail right. Right. And facts are facts. Exactly. Yeah. So. And, and and opinions don't matter. Just lay the facts out and let the viewers make their own decision. Yes. And that's, you know, been a big change in journalism lately. Yeah. Uh, and kind of driving me crazy. Yeah. yeah. Just stick to the facts. All right. Thirty-five more. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> no. no. So, oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to tell him. Just say yes. Just say yes, Steve. You're not calling it a day anytime oh, no, soon. No. No. Yeah. I'm not calling it a day. And I, you know, I always, you know, it's very nice. To, to, to be recognized. Everybody, you guys work hard. Just, you know, we have a great team here, mm -hmm. and, and, and I feel very honored to, to be recognized for this milestone. But, you know, we all just get it done every day. Yeah. And listen, thanks to you for all you do. Listen, the first time, when I first came to work here, mm -hmm. and we were in this newsroom, and he said, Well, come up here and sit next to me while I do the news. <laughs> I'm like, Well, why am I be on camera? He said, No, you're fine. And he went on. I'm like, uh. <laughs> I no. never forget that day. Yeah. You know what I remember? If we have time to tell the story, when you were first started anchoring and the C-5 crashed outside of Dover Air Force Base a mile short of the runway and you were just sort of getting started, yeah. I was feeding two-year-old Hunter at the breakfast table and you called and said, hey, can you get in here? We, we need some help. You oh, know? wow. So, well, we don't have enough time to oh, talk I about what he remembers about <laughs> me. WBOC <laughs> 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 News anchor Steve Hammond, Thank congratulations. You Thank you. <laughs>